Hey everybody! Today's video is about my trip to the Byodo-in Temple in Uzi City, Kyoto Prefecture. This temple originated in 1053 and is one of the historic sites that were collectively inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage in 1994. The reason I wanted to see this temple is because of its beauty, in particular the characteristic red on its structure and the way it's part of a garden with a huge pond in the middle. The Byodo-in Temple is located in Uzi City and its closest train stations are the Uzi Station on the Keihan Line or the Uzi Station on JR. I was approaching Uzi from Osaka, so I took the express train on the Keihan Line from Kyobashi, changed to a local train at Chushojima and then got off at Uji. This took roughly 50 minutes. Leaving the station, I had a rather pleasant walk crossing the Uji River and arriving at the temple in 7 minutes. Now I'm at the front gate where you buy the entrance ticket for 600 yen. At the Byodo in Temple, you are allowed to film and take photos, but you can't live stream. <laughs> it would be pretty annoying if someone did that. You can't take photos inside the buildings either. When you pass the gate, you'll immediately see the iconic Phoenix Hall called Ho-Odo in Japanese, as well as the pond. On the right hand side is a booth where you can book your visit inside the hall. It costs an extra 300 yen and like I said, you can't take photos inside, so I skipped it. <laughs> Before getting to the pond, however, you can make a little detour towards your left and observe the Kannondo Hall. It's like an appetizer. This hall is a rebuild from around 1200 but is in the style of the Tempio era architecture from the 8th century. Here we go, walking around the pond surrounding the Phoenix Hall. Phoenix Hall! This hall is so beautiful, it's etched on a coins, baby. It was built by Fujiwara no Yorimichi in 1053, who held the position of Kampaku at the time. Kampaku is a court noble who's like the chief advisor to the emperor, by the way. The garden is in the so called Chisen Kaiyu style, meaning you have a large pond in the center and a path going around it. It's a common design scheme for Japanese gardens, also found in other famous examples like the Okayama Korakuen. In the case of Byodo In, though, it's particularly interesting because it's a combination of the Chisen Kaiyu garden and the temple, which sort of stands in the middle of the water. See how the phoenix hall is reflected on the surface of the pond? I'm so impressed, man. Apparently, ponds have symbolic significance in Buddhist cultures because there are depictions of what's called the Seven Treasures Pond in some sutras. From what I read on the web, the name of Byodo-in comes from the teaching that Buddha finds universality in every being and every phenomenon. In fact, Byodo means equal in Japanese. I said earlier, this temple was created by Fujiwara no Yorimichi in 1053. Fujiwara is a clan which was at the center of Japanese governance from the 7th century to the 12th. The founder of the Fujiwara clan was Fujiwara no Kamatari, who carried out the famous Taika reforms. For generations, his descendants dominated the positions in the Great Council of State or Daijo Khan, as well as the post of Imperial Regent. The Japanese words for the Imperial Regent are Sesho and Kampaku, the latter of which was held by our man Yorimichi when he created Byodo In. Again, from what I read on the web, colors symbolize some meanings and the red seems to symbolize Buddha's blood and diligence. A page at buildin.or.jp says the same, but also says it symbolizes the concept of universal equality that I mentioned earlier too. The bell tower contains the bell that is a replica of the original that was created in the 12th century. The original was at this tower until a while ago, but it's currently in the museum to keep it safe from the rust caused by air pollution. And I can't show you the original because you can't photograph inside the museum. I say, what is it with museums forbidding you from taking pictures? It's nonsense. I love this hexagonal hall for its looks. It was apparently built using scrap lumber from the Phoenix Hall when it underwent an overhaul from 1902 to 1907.
All right, the music has changed. It's like we are about to witness a dramatic ending with bursts of emotions or something. No, it's not that. I'm sorry. I just wanted to change the mood to keep it fresh. I write my script and record it while I play the music in the background, so it helps to have something that always stimulates. And shameless plug, I make the music myself in case you didn't know, the links to music itself are in the description field. Interestingly, Byodo Inn is an independent Buddhist temple not belonging to any sect. However, also interestingly, there are two halls within Byodo Inn that do belong to the Jodo sect and the Tendai sect respectively. This one we're looking at now is the Jodo Inn Hall from the Jodo sect. Now that I'm done with walking around the temple and ignoring the inside, I've decided to eat some soba noodles, yo! Woohoo! Soba noodles are made from buckwheat and therefore different from ramen and udon noodles that are made from wheat. When you read the Wikipedia page for soba, it says it, quote, contains all nine essential amino acids, including lysine, which common wheat does not contain, end quote. There are many other websites that say the same, either because they took it directly from Wikipedia or because they took it from the same source. However, it seems incorrect to me after reading SF Gate who says wheat does contain all 9 essential amino acids, although buckwheat has a slightly higher concentration of lysine than wheat does. Even the Japanese Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries has a somewhat confusing statement on the presence of lysine in buckwheat. It says, quote, soba flour has an extremely high amount of lysine. Whatever the case, soba is yummy and I love it. What this restaurant does differently with the soba I'm having here is that they add green tea in the dough when producing the noodles. Uzi is well known for its tea production and that's why there are many tea houses both in and around Byodo Inn. The soba flavored with green tea was amazing, man. I totally recommend it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on culture, travel, and music. Have a nice one. Bye.